So this is how I design the menace using Inkscape. From prototyping, I already had the wing size. And uh, so I've clicked the rectangle here and I'm gonna go uh, and on the arrow, I guess it's called the select tool and go with millimeters. And the wing size I came up with is 300 millimeters and 70 millimeters. I'll try that again, 70. So that's the basic wing. Now, we need a winglet, another design choice that I made. I'm making sure my grid snap is on so we can snap one right here and then one on there, a drag, and then another double click at the end. So that's this um, SA tool. Now we get back to this edit pass tool, click, and now I can decide on the exact shape of the winglet. Make it tall. Uh, let's go with about that. Now, it's going to be a V-tail, so I'm going to base it on the winglet so it looks consistent. That was a Control-C, uh, copy-paste. Then Control-D to duplicate H for horizontal. Make sure the grid snap is on. Bring this over here. And just before I join these two pieces together, um, I'm going to put in some features now. So later when these are cut out, it's easier to find the center. So I'm going to copy and paste the wing itself. And we're going to put in a width for this one of 150, which is half of the wingspan. And then choosing these two here, I'll go to align and use left align. This tells me where the center of my uh, wing is. So I'll just select this guy. So this is my center finder for the wing. And I'll make one for the lower uh, as well. So I'll pick the left side, left align. Now I just have to find the width of this guy. Well, actually, I need to first set uh, how big this is going to be. So we're going to join them together, path union. Then take my ruler. Now we can basically decide how big the tailplane will be. And I would like it to be about this big, right about there, I would say. So those curves are related, so it has a nice consistent feel. You can also make a decision here, I'm pressing V, which way, if you wanna have it uh, matching that way or opposites. I can't decide, so I'm going to leave it like this for the time being. Now, to, so we just take the width of this here, which is that amount, control C, bring it over here, punch it in with clipboard, but put slash two. And then when you center, I should say, left align these two guys, now I have a center for that one. So we've got our two tail planes, uh, the, the two planes, the wing main one, and then this will be the V tail. Now I'm going to put some features for the purpose of centering later. So I'm using uh, control shift to make these this little circle here. Try that again. There. Um, so I'll control D to duplicate. So those are going to be used as features uh, for centering. Maybe I'll make uh, two more control T control D. Control D control D. So I'll select all those guys, pressing the control key, I can move the first pack here. So that will be a little bump on the wing to help. Maybe I'm gonna shrink them all. I just selected everything and I'm using control shift uh, while I size it. That looks about right. So next I'll grab one of these, holding the control key to make sure it stays in the same vertical. Now, these other two here, I need to align them over there. So I'll pick those up. I should have probably made them at the site. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete them and make a new one right on here. Control Shift. And we probably don't need one for back here. So we're just going to put it there. So I'm going to press Control, move it down. 
Now we'll merge that stuff together. So we'll pick these two guys and the wing, and we'll pick path union. So that's a nice wing that I can later and find the center easily. Same for the rear uh, union. Now I'm making this from one sixteenth, sorry, one millimeter Decron. It comes on a roll and it has a nice curve. I'm going to leverage the curve to create the wing camber. So to make a rib, I'm going to start with a rough uh, rectangle and then put the width to 70 because we chose 70 for the wing cord. And now I can create the uh, camber. So I'm going to convert my square into a path. Then use this tool, double click to add another node, convert it to a symmetrical node. And now I can easily create my camber and that looks about right. For angle of incidence for the wing, uh, we traditionally will shim the wing. So I'm creating a pretend shim right there. And we're gonna set the height to, um, well, let's see, on an airplane this size, I think you'd be looking at a 16th shim and so a 16th in um, inches, there's my calculator, one over 16, that's uh, 0625 inches. I'm gonna go with a pretty aggressive um, angle of incidence. I'm gonna go like 08 or 09 inches. So uh, we'll get up here, we'll change it to inches. And on the height, I'm going to put um, 0 0.08. There's my shim. Next, I'm going to rotate this piece. So it's two clicks. Then take the point of rotation and move it to the back. And now when I rotate, it is moving strictly in the front. And I can set this to be pretty close to the, uh, the setting that I asked for. So there's your wing camber and your angle of incidence. Next, we need a wing mount. So I'm gonna draw that in here now. It will look something like that. And so to blend these two pieces together, I'm gonna to take the two bottom pieces and make sure that they're inside. Like so making sure they're, they're staying roughly vertical. Just like that. I might have made this a little thick, so bring it down just a little. Now, selecting pulse, we can do path union. So there's your wing mount. Now, I'd like a space under here for the rubber band. So I'm going to make a couple of cutaways on that. First, we'll get this so it looks about right. Right about there should do. Control D. Dragging this over using the control key keeps it at the same height. And now we can use subtraction here. So we'll just select that and use difference. Path difference. So there is the wing rib. Now this um, curvature can be copied to the winglet. So let's pick up this winglet here. Uh, copy paste it down and we're going to rotate it so that curvature needs to be on the winglet and maybe uh, that should probably do so i'm going to duplicate duplicate the bottom one that was control d shift click so they're both the duplicate and the winglet are selected then path difference and there's your winglet with the matching oh something went wrong over here i think i should have played with that more no problem so this piece here probably uh, oh there's extras in there all over the place <laughs> delete that one uh, this guy probably um there's just too much stuff in there that's the problem uh, so we're just going to move this back out here where it was. And uh, maybe this uh, should be symmetrical. I thought I made it symmetrical, but I may have only made it smooth. 
or do we have extras in there? Uh, yeah, we've got extras in there. I don't know how that happened. When this happens, remove. I just deleted them all and look what happened. It went perfect. Okay, that's fixed. Okay, so that winglet is now all nice. So let's bring it up here and use it for this side. So we're going to rotate it back, H to rotate it around, and we'll fit it back on here. Uh, looks like we need to double click here and just adjust this last thing a little. So it's looking good now. So we'll keep the old one around in case we need a flat winglet for one reason or the other. Maybe if you want to ever use a rudder, it could be the rudder. It's nice when things have the same shared uh, curves. So this is called um, the menace. So let's make up the template next. So I'm going to punch in menace here. Let's pick a font. So I'm going to select text and font. Let's scroll till we find a nice font. Uh, that is a nice one for stencils. So I'll use that one. Apply that. Now I'm going to size this up a little. Maybe this is a good size. Click, shift click. So I've selected both pieces, selecting the wing first, then centering on both axes. So I just picked up the wing and the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the name. And I'm going to clean this up a little down here um, because some fonts make good stencils like this one, but there are some issues to fix. So I'm going to go and convert this to a path, then um, ungroup it. Two things to fix that I can see here. This A, the feature here, winds up being weak. So <clears throat> I'm on this tool here. I'm going to move over some of these nodes here to make this feature a little bit more robust. I'm using the Control key as I drag. We'll move this out a little too. This will make a, a more robust feature. Uh, for this one, for the letter C, I tend to just build a feature that will subtract and then use path different. So that should do. Now, the template needs to be bigger than the, the wing. So I'm going to do Control D to duplicate that. And there's a feature in here someplace. I think it's uh, outset. Outset control uh, bracket. Let me try it here. There it is. Now it's not making a very nice effect uh, for some reason. Um, so I'm going to delete that. Try again. Control D. This time I'm using Control Shift and I'm going to just pull that out a little. Get rid of the grid snap. Pull it out a little. Then using just shift, I can set I can set the each edge separately so I know how much it's going to be bigger than the wing. Now I'll take the wing away. And so this is the template ready for fabrication. Your wing rib ready for fab. Uh, everything is ready. Uh, there is a motor stick. I don't need to design that because it's going to be a 3 8 by 1 8 standard. Uh, motor stick, like uh, most stick, many stick models use. It fits with the common propeller. Um, and I'll just explain the wing mount while we're talking about the motor stick here. So we'll pretend this is a motor stick. I didn't size that, but I just want to bring over this and show how it will work. So the wing mount will sit on the top of the motor stick, which probably is more thin like that. And what we do is we loop the elastic on, like a little dental elastic, on. Then we go under, then around, and we come back on. So that's why I made a little peg sticking on. There's a space underneath it. So that's the wing mount system. So that's how you use um, Inkscape to design a model plane, such as the Menace.